So today I want to discuss the TuneBot and some tricks that I've picked up on using the TuneBot a lot and I think you can get more use out of your TuneBot for what you pay for. So one thing it's good for is recording the fundamental tone of your drums. For example, this one's 142 hertz. So what is the fundamental tone exactly? It's uh, the lowest frequency component of a complex sound. So when you play like an E on the bass, the fundamental note is an E, but there are several other pitches resonating within that stroke. But how I view the fundamental frequency is how I think the tune bot picks up on it, and it's the loudest perceived note that it hears. So when I strike the drum, it immediately reads that attack, which is 142 hertz. However, when you strike around the edge of your drum, you excite the overtones more. And there's a new fundamental note being played, a, a louder perceived note. And what's handy about this tune bot is if you hold, it has to be the studio version, if you hold down the filter button, it puts it in high range mode. And using the tune bot for the last couple of years, I thought high range meant it can read above 400 hertz for when you're trying to tune a really high bottom snare rezo or something. But I think it just tries to focus on the higher frequency range. So it'll still pick up the fundamental tone, but if I strike the edge, there's a new louder fundamental. And it reads that. And that's the overtone. And you can pick up on the overtone. And there's a relationship between these two notes. A C sharp to an A, if you divide the overtone frequency by the center fundamental frequency, you get a ratio. And that ratio is your interval. And if you divide these two frequencies, earlier I did the calculation, it was about 1.54. If you want to know what a perfect fifth is, it's 1.5, so it's just above that. Um, now, now, what's cool is you can manipulate this overtone and the relationship with the fundamental note. And this manipulation is how you tune the batter and the resonant heads. Now, if I were to loosen this batter head right now, which I will, it's going to lower the fundamental note, but what will it do with the overtone note? Okay, so we have a new fundamental and a new overtone. Now, we've lowered the fundamental because I've lowered the batter head. And now the resonant head is higher or tighter in tension relative to the batter head because we lowered it. And if you divide these, if you get the ratio between the overtone and the fundamental, it's now 1.17 approximately. So now the interval between the fundamental and the overtone is smaller. So now we understand the relationship between fundamental and overtone. Now, let's bring this drum back up. tuned it back up to where it approximately was before. So what I want to share, what I'm, what this video is about is just showing you that there is a relationship with the overtones and we can manipulate the overtones. And we saw that when we lowered the batter head, it one lowered the fundamental note and it also shortened the ratio between the fundamental and the overtone. What if we go the opposite way? What if the batter head goes up? Okay, now, now that we raise the batter head, we now have a ratio of 1.67. That is the interval ratio between those two frequencies. Now we know the relationship there when we change the batter head frequency and leave the resonant head the same. 
the fundamental changes and the overtone changes. Let's bring it back to how it was before. Okay, we're back approximately where we were at the start. Now we know the relationship when changing one of the heads. And if I were to flip it over and do the same thing with the resonant head, it would have a similar effect. But it would be opposite, because when we lowered the batter head, the ratio between the fundamental and the overtone shortened. And the resonant head was tighter in relation to the batter head. So if we were to lower the resonant head and leave the batter head the same, that's essentially doing the same thing as raising the batter head. You'll lower the fundamental note, but the overtone will go higher when you lower the resonant head. And it will, in raising the resonant head, is doing the same thing as lowering the batter head, but you will raise the fundamental note. So we can manipulate this overtone by how we tune the heads. So let's say, this overtone, C-sharp, I want my, not my, not the overtone, but I want the fundamental to be C-sharp. But I want the overtone to be G-sharp, where it's more of a perfect fifth, not this uh, augmented fifth. So how do we get there? Well, we know if I raise the resonant head, that ratio will shrink. It'll, be, it'll get closer to the fundamental note. But raising the resonant head also will raise this fundamental note to a D. So I have to lower the batter head. So there's this balancing act. Actually, what I can do right now is I can lower the batter head a little bit because it will lower the fundamental closer to a perfect C sharp, which will also lower the overtone. So I'm just gonna lower this a little bit. See, I lowered it down to a C, I did too much. Okay, so now it's closer, it's a little flat of a perfect C-sharp, but now the overtone is a G-sharp. It's almost a perfect fifth, which is a good sounding. You know, that, that C-sharp is a little flat. What if I want a ratio that's even smaller? So I do know, I know the fundamental is a little flat from where I want it. So let's, let's tune the resonant head up. So I've raised the resonant head, which will raise the fundamental note. See, now it's really sharp again. And it raised the overtone a little bit, but it lowered it technically. The overtone increased because I raised the resonant head, but the, but, but the ratio between the batter and the overtone has decreased. Hope that makes sense. But I want to keep decreasing this overtone. I want the ratio to be smaller. I want like a perfect fourth or something. I know it's a little sharp, the overtone. It's not the overtone, the fundamental's a little sharp. So I can lower the batter head, which will also lower the overtone, which I want. So let's just do this. So now it's super flat. Now it's a G. Still not quite a fourth, but the overtone is now a half step lower than it was. So I want to now the C sharp's flat, and I want and I want this overtone to be even flatter. So what do I do? I flip the drum over and I tune the resonant head up. Tune it up. Okay, so I tune the resonant head up. I'm just gonna raise the fundamental closer to where I want it. And it's also gonna lower the ratio to where I want it. Wow, it's a perfect C sharp. And that's a G, so eh, that's not much lower than I wanted, but I can keep manipulating the heads to get exactly to where I want it. And this is useful if you're trying to build like a very melodic sounding drum set where you can Tune your toms to specific fundamental notes, and you can make sure the overtones are tuned in a way where it won't clash with the frequencies of the snare drum and whatnot. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this little lesson. Happy tuning.